Honor students for, I don't know, almost 20 years now have asked me uh, consistently to teach a course under the title of Political Protest in the Culture of the 60s, and I do that. Only recently have I indicated, been able to indicate how much I was involved in some of that activity. Somebody had to expose Hoover's FBI. The, the simple truth was, nobody in Washington was going to hold J. Edgar Hoover's FBI accountable. We knew the heavy-handed methods that the FBI was using against people in Philadelphia, but we had no way to document that or to prove that, and that's what we were attempting to do, was to get documentation. There were eight of us. Uh, the person who called us together, and really our leader, uh, was Bill Davidon, who at that time was a physics professor at Haverford College, also very active in the anti-war movement. Uh, it was his idea uh, that we uh, attempt to burglarize an FBI office. We had to do uh, daily, nightly casing of the building itself. The FBI office in Media, Pennsylvania was in an apartment house on the second floor. So there were apartments and people living in those apartments above uh, the office that we were going to uh, break into. And we had to know what their activity was at night. When did the police patrol in the area also? So we had to do, we had to do a lot of that information gathering to know whether it was feasible to attempt a break-in. So I was elected to call and say that I was a Swarthmore College student um, doing research on opportunities for women in the FBI, and, and I wondered if I could have an appointment to interview them. And they were very gracious. They gave me an appointment. Um, but it gave me enough time to, particularly when the man I was interviewing walked out of the office for a few minutes, to look around and see that there was no security. There were no alarms on the doors. The file cabinets were not locked. There was virtually no security except for the lock on the door that went out to the hallway. So we chose March 8, 1971. It was the biggest sport night of the century. Uh, Muhammad Ali and, and Fraser were fighting for the world championship. And we were pretty sure that uh, that would uh, distract the attention of the apartment people who'd be watching that or listening to that. And probably the cops would not be quite as, uh, as busy on the streets as they might be uh, if that fight had not been uh, going on. Mm -hmm. It was my job to park our uh, station wagon, Ford station wagon, in a parking lot uh, in Swarthmore College, which is very close to media, uh, and to wait. Uh, for the pickup car to bring the suitcases filled with files uh, to me, and then uh, I would take those out to a, a safe house, a farm, about an, uh, an hour drive uh, west of the city. One of the early files that, that had us jumping up and down was a file uh, from an officer uh, to Hoover, uh, and, uh, it, uh, and I'm quoting now, increase the surveillance so that the paranoia that is typical of these kind of groups would increase. Let them think that there is an FBI agent behind every mailbox." End quote. When we had that quote, we had the document that was going to nail J. Edgar Hoover. Bonnie and I were the only ones that our mother and father, both of us involved in this, and of course because we were involved, uh, our kids were put in jeopardy. So uh, the whole group, all eight of us, were very insistent upon after we send those files off, we each go our own way back into the life. The best place to hide in the world is you hide in public, and that's what we could do. We wanted to be effective. We didn't need to be heroes. Uh, we did what we had to do, and then once those documents were sent off, other people did what they had to do. Investigative reporters did what they had to do. Finally, Congress began to do what it had to do. Finally, the federal judge finally uh, did what he was supposed to do. If we didn't do that robbery, we would never have found out and never been able to document, and we would not have been able to stop J. Edgar Hoover's dirty tricks. <laughs>